Hey guys, Jess here. You're watching TACOM, and this is Gears Feed. Get ready, we have a lot of news for you. To start out the week, Easter skins were supposed to be entitled on Monday. Sadly, this never happened. On Wednesday, though, Octus provided an update and let us know that we should have them soon. And wouldn't you know it, we have them now. If you've completed the task, the skin should now be in your inventory. On Tuesday, it was announced that we're getting a chance to collect a new Phantom skin set. This new set looks really cool and features emerald skins. To claim all 14, be sure to complete the requirements shown here. As a quick note, the Coalition has had some issues with some skins not being rewarded properly. It's rare, but it does happen. So as a safeguard, they recommend that everyone screenshot their quest completions, just in case you need proof in the event that something goes wrong. Speaking of skins, one of the coolest skin sets in the game came out on Wednesday. The Las Vegas supporter skins were available for a short time this week, but keep a lookout for them Las Vegas finals weekend. These skins look awesome, and I'd love to get my hands on them. Unfortunately, they're only available in the eSports supporter pack, so I'll probably be passing. If you're interested, though, these packs have a modified RNG system and have a pretty good chance at the eSports skins. In other skin news, if you haven't gotten a Locust Grenadier Elite, you're in luck. He is May's craftable character, and he's now available. Oh, and for any of you who want to, he's also scrappable now as well. So, what do you think when I throw this number out there? Hmm, 83. Some of you may think of the Coltrane, but I'm guessing most of you are thinking of this. Well, we've got good news. This weekend, the developer playlist is back, and it's being used to actually test out some Nasher changes. They're testing some changes to the Nasher consistency that should help alleviate some of those dreaded 83% we keep getting. If you haven't played it yet, go ahead and check it out, and be sure to provide feedback over on the forums. Remember though, this is in the developer playlist, so this can only be accessed for a limited time and only by the season pass holders. If you're not a season pass holder, or maybe if versus multiplayer isn't your thing, there's also a Horde event going on. By playing 150 Waves of Horde this weekend, you can snag yourself a fancy new Horde Expert Pack. This is a new gear pack that will only be purchasable with real money for $2.99. This pack contains a Horde Bounty and 10 Horde Skills. Within these 10 skills, you have a guaranteed epic skill and a possibility of up to 3. This is great for anyone looking to complete the skill card collection, but sadly once again it's another pack without a credit option. In other Horde news, last week Rod hinted that the June update should be bringing along some Horde changes. This has now been confirmed. Starting in June we'll be seeing some new Horde skills, level 6 skills, and the new difficulty settings. Insane Horde has become too easy, so I'm really excited for a new challenge. As we mentioned last week, the map rotation has been causing quite a stir, and according to this post by Octus, they're working on it. It seems like it should be a pretty easy adjustment, so I'm hopeful that we'll be seeing some improvements starting next month. Play for Paws will be hosting their annual 24-hour international gaming charity event starting on May 26th. They are raising money for First Coast No More Homeless Pets in the U.S. and the Animal House Rescue in the U.K., and there will also be prizes raffled off. They will be collecting donations while playing and streaming an array of fun games, including Gears 4. The entire event will be live-streamed, so make sure to tune in. I'll have their links listed below for more information. To finish out the news for the week, we've got a pretty surprising one. The Director of Communications, Adam Fletcher, is no longer working at the Coalition, and Friday was his last day working there. We're not sure what he'll be doing next, but from all of us here at TACCOM, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors, Adam. For anyone curious, you can see some more details on the forum link below where Adam made his official announcement. And that's going to do it for the news this week. As always, if you found this helpful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe to keep up to date with our content. Once again, this has been an episode of Gears Feed on TACCOM, and until next time, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.